Hey up everybody. Uh, moving on to the next part of my pipe work now. This will probably be the last part I think of pipe work. And it's my whistle. Uh, in two previous videos, I'll put a link to these anyway. In two previous videos I made my whistle valve. Uh, which is here. Back to that drawing. I ain't quite decided on this lever yet. I was going to put a chain on so you could pull it or either press it that way. I ain't decided yet. But that's my whistle valve. And then in another video I made my whistles. A chime whistle to that drawing. So just for anybody that's not already seen this. And what I've decided to do, I'm going to put a dummy whistle on the front of the cab and I'm going to put this one underneath the foot plate just underneath loco now on near side where the, where the hand pump is I'm thinking of putting it somewhere in this position then I'm going to make a manifold to come through the cab floor then my pipe will couple onto that manifold up to the whistle valve I'm going to make a, a dummy whistle just to put on the front. Uh, I've got a bit of brass or a bronze. I've got a bit of copper tubing for the body and I've got a bit of brass for a bracket. Sorry I went brain dead then. It'll all become clear as I make it. Right so I'm going to put my dummy whistle in this position with that brass plate across and a bracket on. I've just had an hour on my for making this dummy whistle uh, and also I've uh, made this simple bracket just silver soldered together and a couple of brass domed headed bolts in it and that's going to fit onto the front it cab and then the whistle is going to screw into that. Uh, I'm thinking of piping a, a small one eighth pipe up to it just so that when whistles blast there'll be a puff of steam comes up here so it looks as though it's this that's blowing okay then this is stage one of disguising these holes that's that I've got uh, in my cab which was already in the material that I used I'm putting some name plates on the side to cover them up and I'm going to deal with this one first this this cab so I've got this bracket made and all, all, all I'm going to do is just bolt it onto the front of that. I've drilled a hole just through the mouth of the whistle there that goes straight through the cab and when I pipe my me, me main whistle up I think I'm going to tee off with a 1 8 pipe just to come through this hole with the the pipe pointing upwards so that when I blast the whistle a puff of steam will come up this up this whistle and look as though it's that one that's doing all the whistling my next job to do then is to make a, sh a short manifold with a, a union on one end and then a hole drilled at 90 degrees for the whistles to fit into then my pipe that'll stick up through the cab floor for my pipe from my whistle valve onto the top that'll fit onto the top and then underneath the cab floor that'll protrude for my whistle to screw into and then with a nut with a locking nut on it that'll clamp it to the cab foot floor and should make it secure so I'm going to move over to lay then now uh, I've got some union nuts to make as well as some nipples not long back in a previous video uh, I had a question from Joe from my heap on YouTube if you want to visit him. He was asking me about olives and nipple sizes that I use. So this is for Joe and for anybody else it might help. This is the size I work to for 532nd pipe 
if you're going up up a size in pipe or down a size, just increase all the sizes to suit. And the nipples or the olives, which I call them, you can either put a chamfer on both sides or just one on one side. Uh, because it don't really matter really because the the nut's going to screw up up the union and press this taper onto the cone of the union. So it's up to you whether you put a cone on both sides. Uh, and then this is a a different type of olive that comes through the nut, a portion comes through the nut. So I generally use those on the very smaller pipe and those on the larger pipes. I'll get them made up and get this little short manifold made. Uh, get my pipe work bent and then it's 5.30 second pipe this. Uh, get my pipe work bent then we'll have, a, we'll have another look at where I'm going to put these whistles. Right, I've managed to get the manifold made now and uh, all the pipes. I've made a little T-piece that's going to branch off to me false steam whistle just to get a puff of steam. So that's going to go onto the valve. Then I'll have this pipe coming off that towards the whistles under the foot plate. And then this pipe's going to go off to the my false whistle. I've drilled a hole in the cab floor in approximately where, where my finger is and that's going to come back level with the boiler for my pipe to come into.